So there is a gut hormone connection. One of the interesting conversations that we had both with an endocrinologist and a gastroenterologist is that they must see so much overlap and they were both very clear that they, they, they might see it, but they don't work with it because if you've got a gut problem, you go and see the gastro. And if you've got a hormone problem, you go to the endocrinologist. But if you've got a gut problem that's being driven by hormones, where do you go? This is the, the, the big question. And so what we're interested in is the hormones uh, that, are, that are absolutely dictating what is happening in our gut. And progesterone slows down gastrointestinal motility, easy for me to say. It also reduces the gallbladder's response. So if you've got someone who has, say, diarrhea or IBS, for example, progesterone can play a massive role in this. Uh, however, for some people with major constipation, especially if they're under a lot of stress and they're quite tight and the slowing down of the gastrointestinal motility can actually relieve constipation too. So it, yeah, we just need progesterone. <laughs> because it slows everything down but it relaxes it as well so it depends yes. where the constipation is coming from yeah uh, so estrogen does the opposite effect with our digestive system so it speeds everything up and it speeds up the gallbladder response and it increases contraction so it tends to speed up um uh, if you've got something like constipation but estrogen is a stimulator so if you have it's more of a stressor so it can also, if you've got too much estrogen, it can cause more um, uh, constipation. So it's it's one of those. It's just try to guess. But I think the important message here is that hormones have an effect on our gut. Mm. 2019 study on mice um, found that progesterone reduces depression and anxiety through changes in the gut microbiome. I love that. I love that. 